And here's the deal. When liberty and justice for all turns into liberty and justice for me, everything goes sideways. Hey girl, so glad that you tuned in. My name is Bethany and this is the Make Up Your Mind channel. You're listening to episode number 38. Whether you're actually putting on your makeup, maybe you're getting ready for work or school, I know that this episode is actually airing at the end of June, so you might be out of school. How exciting. Maybe you're in the coffee drive-thru today, wherever life finds you, girl. I hope that you know that there are people that are for you that are cheering you on to succeed. Today, I hope that I get to be one of those people standing like a cheerleader on the sideline of your life reminding you and helping you to make up your mind all day long about the small things that add up to huge things later on. We have just gotten into a new series for the summer called Social Norms. We're gonna be talking all about the normal things in society that maybe shouldn't be so normal. Today's episode is titled Freedom and Justice for Me. Make sure that you like and subscribe wherever you're consuming this content. Now let's get to it. Okay, so those of you who have been with me for a while know that I have an Ipsy subscription and it is a subscription box that comes to your door once a month and it has five samples of different kinds of fancy makeup in it. This month I got a really fun lip color. It's by Lottie London and it's called Slay All Day. It's an all day wear lip color and it's a nice kind of neutral pink. It's almost like a berry color. I'm actually modeling it for those of you who are watching this video and it is fantastic. You know what? It does not stay on all day. It is a lie. However, it does stay on till about lunchtime whenever I have my next meal after I put it on. And I love it. It's so creamy going on. It doesn't make your lips feel tight. It is just a blast to wear. So if you want to try it, I'll post a link in the show notes. You can purchase it on their website online, Lottie London, or you can purchase it at Ulta, which is great because I know everyone has an Ulta near them. Hopefully, if not, I'm so sorry. Okay, ladies, let's jump into today's topic. This episode is airing the week of 4th of July, Independence Day. We all know what Independence Day is about in our country. It is about our freedom from being ruled by someone else, specifically another country, specifically England. We became our own nation back in 1776 when we run the war against England. So exciting, right? This is why we celebrate. This is why we have fireworks because we became our own nation. We were free. Our founding fathers wrote words like liberty and justice for all. This is the words that our country was birthed out of. Words like, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal and that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Most of us, hopefully all of us, if we're Americans, have heard these words and lived by these words and been proud to be American because of these words. They're the basis in the formation of our freedom and our rights here in America. The Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and the Declaration of Independence all talk about our fundamental rights as humans living here. Some of these rights include the right to free speech. This is what I'm doing here right now with this channel. The right of religious freedom, the right to make my own money and pursue my own happiness in this life. And all of these are super great things. Am I right? All of these rights have made America the country that it is. But here's what I want to speak to today. I want to speak to how we view what freedom is. What is real freedom? Do we as Americans know what that is? I think we as Americans live with freedom and rights as our highest priority, which on the surface seems absolutely great. We've let those ideas seep into every part and every aspect of our culture and our way of thinking. Sometimes it can be so much so that we start demanding what we feel is ours just because we are free to have it. 
We demand our rights that are given to us by our country. Did you get to listen to last week's episode on entitlement mentality? If not, you should just pause right now and go back to that episode because it links in so much with what we're about to talk about now in this episode. This attitude of entitlement has crept in and actually grabbed hands with our concept of freedom and rights. It's become this attitude of my freedom, my rights. And let's just say it how it is. It's ugly. It's self-centered. And if we follow it all the way through to the end, it's actually divisive, not uniting. It pulls all the attention to me and what I want and getting my way right now. Literally, I could actually pull the thread back to our first episode on social norms where we talk about the all about me attitude. Can you see how that attitude of my freedom, my rights is connected to the attitude of entitlement and the me first attitude? They're all kind of interlinked and one in the same. And here's the deal. When liberty and justice for all turns into liberty and justice for me, everything goes sideways. I think that our country as a whole has taken the all statement a lot of the time and made it all about me. And yes, you are part of the all, I am part of the all, but I'm not the whole picture. Here's what I wanna propose today. What if freedom actually looks a little bit differently than what we've been taught? What if we actually turn freedom upside down and look at it from a whole different perspective? Okay, here's a scenario for you. Pretend you're a grown adult. I know some of you listening might be teenagers, some of you are in middle school, some of you are in high school, some of you are grown adults. Just pretend you're a grown adult right now if you're not. As an adult, you get to do whatever you want. And honestly, that's what we think freedom is and that's what we want freedom to be. I get to do whatever I want, whenever I want. Sounds great on the surface, right? If I wanna go to Target, I can go to Target. I can spend my money however I want, whenever I want to. I can go to the coffee drive-thru, get whatever coffee I want, whenever I want it. I can eat a bag of Doritos sitting on my couch until midnight because that feels good and that's what I wanna do. I can watch whatever shows I want to. Okay, and so while we're at it, I can also watch whatever pornography that I want to. Or maybe I'll just take whatever drug I want to while we're at it because it actually makes me feel good and it satisfies a craving in me and I can do whatever I wanna do whenever I wanna do it and do whatever feels good in the moment. I could also just drive way over the speed limit. I could also murder someone while I'm at it. Whoa, that escalated quickly. Okay, I know that that was a lot of examples and that might have been confusing to you how I got from shopping at Target to murdering someone but I wanted you to see how the attitude of doing whatever I want whenever I want to, the freedom that we all desire can kind of get out of hand. And it actually might not even be freedom at all. If I do whatever I want at any time, there actually might be some harm that comes to me. I might get addicted to a drug or a behavior that's not helpful, or I might get in trouble with the law. I might even hurt myself. Here's the thing. True freedom is not the ability to do whatever I want, whenever I want. True freedom is actually loving others more than myself, and maybe even living within some constrictions because I care for others and I care for myself. Here's how I actually think of freedom. I think sometimes freedom is saying no to things so that I can say a bigger yes to living freely. Let me actually say that again. Let that sink in. Sometimes freedom means saying no over here so that your life can get larger and say a greater yes over here. Does that make sense to you? Here's some examples. If we didn't have rules of the road, people would get hurt. Why do we have rules? So that we can ultimately keep people safe from harm. Why do we create boundaries for ourselves with specific substances and behaviors? Because those substances and behaviors don't just affect us. 
although they do affect us and it's great to have boundaries for ourselves, but they actually end up affecting other people too. Without rules, without boundaries, we actually destroy the freedom that we actually have. The most simple and kind of extreme example of this is addiction. Most people start using a substance like a drug or alcohol or something like that, or even pornography, because they want to feel better about whatever situation they're a part of. They want to use it to cope with the hard things in life so that they can feel more free. It sounds like a good idea to start out with, but the problem is that addiction quickly forms to these substances. And then are you free any longer? No. You're then a slave to whatever that substance or behavior is. You become a slave to your addiction and that substance ends up ruling over you. And it doesn't have to be an addictive substance. It can be an attitude, a mentality. It can be so many things in this world that we actually let rule over us. Attitudes and behaviors can even put that harness of slavery back on us, even in the moment when it seems like a, I just want to do what I want to do kind of mentality, we don't even realize that we are now slaves to this idea or this attitude. Guess what? I know you know, but Jesus actually has something to say about this topic in his word. No duh, Bethany, we always get there. But here it is, Galatians 5, verses 13 through 15 say this. It's absolutely clear that God has called you to a free life. Just make sure that you don't use this freedom as an excuse to do whatever you want to do and destroy your freedom. Rather, use your freedom to serve one another in love. That's how freedom grows. For everything we know about God's word is summed up in a single sentence, love others as you love yourself. That's an act of true freedom. If you bite and ravage each other, watch out. In no time at all, you will be annihilating each other. And where will your precious freedom be then? True freedom comes when you put someone else above yourself. True freedom comes when you can say no to say the greater yes. There's so much wisdom in the word of God. I love it so much. And it completely turns concepts that we think are normal in culture today upside down and shows it to us in a new perspective. Ladies, what if we were to go against the culture around us that says my rights, my freedom? What if we were to take on an attitude of serving others rather than fighting for what's ours? What would the world look like around us? I bet you that you would feel more free than you ever have. And in the process, you would end up setting other people free as well. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Make Up Your Mind. As always, be sure to share this episode with someone who you think would benefit from it. Always like and subscribe wherever you're consuming this content so that you get notified whenever there's new content coming out. Remember today, above everything else, that you are valuable and you are loved. Girl, I am so glad that I get to do this with you every week. Be sure to join me in two weeks when we come out with another episode and stay updated on the socials. And until then, I'll catch you later.